Hey guys, what's up? It's Eric with Advanced Level Automotive. I wanted to make a real quick video uh, as a quick tip for any technician who's diagnosing a uh, CAN bus uh, communication problem. Uh, this is a 2012 Chrysler 300. It's got the 3.6 liter V6 engine. When you hook up the scan tool, uh, this thing has numerous communication codes uh, between uh, all the different modules. So what I decided to do, uh, rather than just trying to focus in on one specific code, is I went straight to the CAN bus system. Using the lab scope, I went ahead and connected uh, two channels on the DLC connector, which the data link connector, which is under the driver's side over there, on pins six and 14. Uh, those are gonna be the two CAN data lines on the DLC connector. Let me go ahead and show it to you. Walk to the other side. So if you look, I've got my uh, uh, green and yellow channels. And on the data link connector right up here, you can see I've, I've got uh, both of my back probe tools in there on pins six and 14, which is uh, the high and low CAN data bus lines. And what you're gonna wanna see on the uh, lab scope, if you look here, I'm on a five volt scale on both channels. Uh, right now I have it set to two milliseconds uh, time base across here. Uh, the signal's a little bit noisy, but this is actually a good looking signal. What you wanna see is that one channel mirrors the other. Uh, so as long as you don't have a short to voltage or a short to ground on either one of those uh, can lines, what you're gonna see is a mirror of one another. The high is gonna mirror the low. So when this is up, this one's down. As noisy as the signal is, I at least see what I wanna see. Let me fast forward here because I've already figured out the problem. This is the uh, splice that's underneath the uh, glove box on this vehicle. There's actually two splices for the CAN bus system. There's also one on the rear behind the, uh, the passenger seat. This is the front connector. And uh, what I like to do is if I see a signal that has uh, glitching or noise, I like to come to the splice and start disconnecting these one at a time, uh, isolating the modules and seeing which one which one fixes the problem. Or you know, when I remove it from the connector, the problem goes away. So I'm gonna reconnect this just to put this back into uh, the way it was when I first uh, when I first uh, when I first hooked it up. So if you look here, you'll see we have the signal. And then if you just watch it, you'll start seeing glitches. So let's watch it. And then ever so often we'll have a glitch. Let's see if we can catch it here on camera. There it goes, did you see that? There it goes again, there it goes again. I'm gonna go ahead and try to pause that. See if I can capture that for you. So I paused it. I'm gonna go into movie mode and start rewinding. And I'm gonna try to rewind it to the part where it glitched. I'm just kind of going back in time here, rewinding. And looking for that point where it glitched. Remember, this is a two millisecond time base right here. So this is going really fast. So I'm having to click back on a lot of frames to get to what just happened a second ago. Okay, there's the glitch right there. All right, so this is not a good signal. When you see that the high and the low match each other, there's a problem. So if you see uh, this channel, when it goes up, when the voltage rises, uh, at the same time this voltage is rising, you can see they're pretty much matching each other. That's not what you wanna see, you wanna see the opposite. So let me scroll down here. You can see this ugly glitch that's happening right here. And during this glitch, you can see where the both of the channels are matching each other. And then the glitch ends, and then we go back to a, we go back to a, a normal pattern. So you see how when this is high, this is low. So they're mirroring each other. This is what you want to see, and this is what you don't want to see. So, anyways, the quick tip here is to uh, find a splice. Let me go ahead and bring this back to live. Oh, so this is live video right here. Uh, 
find the splice if your vehicle is equipped with one if not you may have to try to disconnect the modules one at a time and just disconnect these until you see that glitching go away so you're gonna see when I disconnect this one which is actually the power steering module let me try to get my pick tool in there and disconnect it it's kind of hard to do with one hand okay I got it disconnected so once I disconnect it you can look at the signal and just kind of watch and wait and watch to see if the glitching happens again and in this case the glitching does not come back uh, the problem is the power steering control module so that needs to be uh, looked at or or if it is a problem needs to be replaced uh, but this is just a quick tip for you guys uh, I know can can be the CAN bus system can be a little bit confusing for some people uh, but again what you want to see is a, the signals mirror each other so they're opposite of each other uh, and you don't want to see a whole lot of glitching like what was happening earlier if you have a lot of glitching it's going to cause uh, it's going to cause a communication problem between all the modules because remember all of the modules are trying to communicate on the same network and when one of those modules is throwing out uh, erratic noise then it causes all of the modules to start uh, miscommunicating and then that's when you get a lot of trouble codes and you have uh, you know all kinds of weird electrical stuff happening anyways guys I hope this video helps somebody uh, if you like the channel please subscribe to the channel if you like the video please hit the thumbs up if you have any questions you can always comment down below thank you for watching the video and I hope to see you in the next one all right so I'm gonna go ahead and throw this in as an extra uh, so this is where the power steering pump is located the uh, power steering pump module is actually part of the pump. If you look, this is the reservoir. This is the module part of it. And then the electric pump. Uh, it's all one big unit. I called the dealer. This thing's about $1,100. Uh, but I want to show you real quick. I found where the problem is. Uh, this connector here is for the can lines. The other connector here is the main power and the uh, ground for the motor. Uh, but what I noticed when I was wiggling this harness... I noticed this wire was kind of loose and uh, you can see it just kind of slipped out so uh, the wire needs to be repaired so I'm going to go ahead and repair that and then double check and, uh, to make sure everything works properly but I just kind of wanted to throw that in for you guys who are wondering uh, what the fix was for this. Let me finish the video off by showing you that everything's working. Uh, so I went ahead and repaired the wire, uh, took the uh, connector apart, replaced the terminal uh, put the wire back together and now everything's working great anyways just wanted to clear that up because i know there's going to be somebody in the comment section that is going to ask me about it so anyways that's a fix thank you guys for watching and uh, i hope to see you in the next one